And we're back with Detroit Become Human. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to wake you. So it wasn't a nightmare? No. No, it wasn't a nightmare. How about a nice warm bath? And then we can go out and try to get you something to eat. What do you say? Okay. I'll run you a bath. You're pretty like that. You really look like a human now. Thanks, Alice. You bath's ready. I like the white.
The victim's name was Todd Williams, an unemployed man from Corktown. According to initial reports, he was shot by his android, an AX-400. The android fled the scene, and a police search is now in progress. Reporting live for Channel 16 News, I'm Josh Douglas. You had no choice. He would have killed me if you hadn't stopped him. What are we gonna do? We have nowhere to go. And the police are looking for us now. Well, I know we can't stay here. We can't stay here. We don't have any money. That android yesterday, he gave me an address. He said we could get help there. Could be worth a try. We can't change the past, Alice. But we can decide the future. We're gonna pull through, and soon all this will just be a bad memory. Finished getting ready? I'll go out and find some food for you, and then we can get going. I'm glad she understood about her dad. Smart kid. Now, let's go get some breakfast. Oh, it's Andrew, Android! They're here already! Lieutenant Anderson, Detroit Police. Looking for a female android robbed a store down the road last night. You seen anything? An android? No. I don't take androids here. Have you seen anyone that looks like this? Fuck. I knew there was something weird about her. She came in last night. She was dressed normal, you know? There was no way I could tell. Is it still here? Yeah, probably. Room 28. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, I gotta do something. I don't want to help Hank. He sucks balls. Ben, yes, Most of the humans the here do. Send some uniforms and cordon off the air. Gonna have to do it for a you wait in the car. Out of the question. I'm coming with you. Listen, I'm tired of you talking back to me. You're a machine, so shut the fuck up and do what I say. All I want is to accomplish my mission. I'm sorry if that upsets you. You want to see the end of your mission? Stop busting my fucking balls. Man, you're such a tool. I hope there's a part soon where I can choose between you and Kara and her daughter, because I know what I'm going to pick. Good. Do I follow him or do I try and is there a way to get them out? I don't know. Oh, this feels like a huge moment. I don't want to look it up. I got to do this blind. Okay. I'm just maybe I can help them separate. Which way did it go? That way. They're headed for the train station. They're over there!
Shoot, we need it alive! Ah! Oh, fuck. That's insane. They won't. They'll never make it to the other side. I can't take that chance. Now you will get yourself killed. Do not go after him, Connor. That's an order. So close. I did that right. <laughs> if I want them to escape and Andrew Android to, I'm calling him Andrew Android because my name's Andrew and my girlfriend says that would be me. So that's what I'm going with. Morning in hotel. Morning in car. Morning in crack house. Cut and color hair. White. What's this one? I don't know. Oh. If I would have gone with this one, would they have even found me? Cheer up, Alice. Look for breakfast. Yeah. Interrogate. Follow Hank. Check the door. Ooh, if I would have gone with him. Similar, that would have been on that branch. Whatever happens there. And it might have ended there. Who knows what that would have been. Check the door. He pursues. Run towards their last known position. Reach fence in time or don't. Oh. Car and Alice are at the freeway. Highway. Orders, Connor, to let. I figured letting them go was the best course of action. You know, like Connor's just trying to do what he's, you know, was born to do. So he's very conflicted. Plus, Hank's a douche. So there's that too. They get to the other side. Ooh, Connor dies. Sad. This is the sad one. <laughs> That's a sad one. I'm glad I didn't get that. Oh, okay. They reached the other side. Nice. Several sources report that CyberLife has provided Detroit police with a prototype detective android. Although police assistant androids have existed for several years now, this would be the first case of an android being authorized to play an active role in criminal investigations. We contacted CyberLife for comment, but no longer. We are now approaching Ferndale Station. Please take care of stepping onto the platform. Customers are reminded that all androids must ride in the designated area. There's a place where we can be free. 
Find Jericho! Jericho. It's, they missed it's a dude. There it is. Oh, the trail. I don't have any change, or else I would. Because maybe it's like John Wick, where it's like a society of homeless students. Not surprised. Apparently she did. Yeah. Kara. It's crazy, right? Android on the run! Run away. Sure, I'll talk to you later. Mm -hmm. They're going to Canada. Canada! Great country. Residents in the Detroit suburb of Camden were witness to a thrilling chase today after a police manhunt, including roadblocks and dozens of police interviews, flushed out a, fel flushed out a felony fugitive. But this is a fugitive with a difference. The suspect is an android. The rogue AX400 model is thought to be suffering from an extremely rare malfunction and took extreme measures to avoid police, even dashing across a busy highway to avoid pursuing officers. Eyewitnesses' statements are conclus inconclusive, and with no official report, it's impossible to say for sure what really happened. But local news correspondents are looking into the case at this very moment. No CyberLife spokesperson was available for comment. And the speculation looks set to continue. So I need to pretend to be human. What is going on with that android lady? Definitely don't do that. <laughs> you alright lady? Whoa. That's not an android. That's a ghost. That's a ghost in the machine. Nope, I'm not talking to you. I'm a human. I'm a humonic device. Did you hear about that artist, Carl Manfred? Yeah, kind of sad. Iris Andrew. You heard wrong, you freaking spreader of lies. You don't.
don't even know how dumb you are. You big dummy. Hey, 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 you got a dollar? Another one? What is this, Phoenix? <laughs> it's funny because it's true. Where am I going? This place is very interwoven. It's an expanse. Not that way. Alright, let's look at it one more time. Uh, yeah, red building corner. What do you want, copper? That's a red building. Oh! Don't hit me, bro. Every building here is red. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, maybe it's that one. It's gotta be that one. No. It's not. Wait. It's not. Dang it. I suck. Is it this way? Excuse me. Dude. No. Someday I'll find it. And everything will be right. <laughs> Antic. Can you go any slower? You freaking poop head. I bet I'm... Can you move? Ugh. Jeez. I bet I'm still going the wrong way. Yep. Alright. Maybe it's over there. The red... Maybe that... That was it. The fence. Red building. building. I need the green and hey, more man, yellow. Leave me alone! Ah. Ha <laughs> I did it. Now what? Oh, there it is. Clue updated. Robos. I know where that is. Right over there. <laughs> hey, listen, can you spend some cash? You already asked me that like four times. I think it's over there. Right? Come on, man. Yeah, let's go. <coughs> Come on, pass it. Really? Not this way? Ah, ah, I see. Is it over there? Did, did I pass it already? Don't hit me! Ah. Oh, yep. There it is. Oh, I'm coming! Almost there! Okay. We're making progress.
progress. There it is. What's over here, though? Nothing? Nice moves, Marcus. That was cool. I'm missing one. One, two. Buckle my shoe. It's white. There it is. I can predict probabilities. <laughs> I love that. Now what about if I like jumped off the side of the wall and did that? Yeah. Do the thing. <laughs> That's so cool. Dang, this is such a cool mechanic. More games should have that mechanic.
<laughs> I did it. Yeehaw! Parkour! Huh! Parkour! Parkour, parkour! I have very short term memory, apparently. Uh, boy. Anything I can inspect? Inspector Gadget? Sad dead robot? Inspected. It, it was like a yellow. It was this. Haha. -ha. I did it. Oh, almost there. Now we're getting into the perspective stuff. Cool. Good job, Marcus. I just want to say, I love Marcus's uh, character transformation throughout this game. He's really coming to his own. He's taking what he was taught by his dad and just running with it. Literally. <laughs> He's jockeying with it. <laughs> it's inspiring. Good job, Marcus. Whoa. This first one's locked. Let's go check it out. Okay. 
or rusted shut, maybe. These walls? These walls are called bulkheads. I forget what the doors... I think they're called hatches. Close the hatch, shipmate! Yep. That was now 13 years ago when I left the military. I lived upon a carrier which had doors like this. Watertight doors. In case there's a leak, you can seal compartments. You can co like compartmentalize the, the flooding. And the doors are built to be like really strong because the water pressure would eventually break through it. Like it's gonna happen no matter what. Obviously, it takes more time if the door is stronger, so... Yeah. Welcome to Jericho. Well, the people of Jericho. That was uh, kind of a short chapter. Pretty cool, though. You know, it's in discovering his, I'm guessing, his new organization. So. Let's do one more chapter. This one might run a little longer. Shit hot tip you gave me to send me back a week's wages for you. Come on, this is different. It's a hundred percent guaranteed. You can't go wrong. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm in. Damn straight. Hey, you won't regret this. your problem. Don't you ever do as you're told? Look, you don't have to follow me around like a poodle. I 
I thought now might be a good time to review what we know about deviants. No, now is not a good time to review anything. Now is my lunch break. So just go into standby and cut me some slack, okay? Here you go. that thing here. Huh, not a chance. Follows me everywhere. See? Do you eat here often? Most days. Gary makes the best burger in Detroit. Enjoy your meal. Thank you. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Why do you hate Android so much? I have my reasons. Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Hell no. Well, yeah. Um... Why do they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? Cyberlife androids are designed to work harmoniously with humans. Both my appearance and voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. Well, they fucked up. This morning, when we were chasing those deviants, why didn't you want me to cross the highway? Because you could have been killed. I... And I don't like filling out paperwork for damaged equipment. Maybe I should tell you what we know about deviants. You read my mind. Proceed. We believe that a mutation occurs in the software of some androids, which can lead to them emulating a human emotion. In English, please. They don't really feel emotions. They just get overwhelmed by irrational instructions, which can lead to unpredictable behavior. Emotions always screw everything up. The androids aren't as different from us as we thought. <laughs> you ever dealt with deviants before? A few months back, a deviant was threatening to jump off the roof with the little girl. I managed to save her. So I guess you've done all your homework, right? Know everything there is to know about me? I know you graduated top of your class. You made a name for yourself in several cases and became the youngest lieutenant in Detroit. I also know you've received several disciplinary warnings in recent years, and you spend a lot of time in bars. So what's your conclusion? I think working with an officer with personal issues is an added challenge. But adapting to human unpredictability is one of my features. I just got a report of a suspected deviant. It's a few blocks away. You should go have a look. I'll let you finish your meal. I'll be in the car if you need me. Connor. You run out of batteries or what? I'm sorry. I was making a report to Cyberlife. Uh. Well, do you plan on staying in the elevator? No. I'm coming. <laughs> no. Hey, what do we know about this guy? Not much. Just that a neighbor reported that he heard string noises coming from this floor. 
Nobody's supposed to be living here, but the neighbor said he saw a man hiding an LED under his cap. Oh, Christ, if we have to investigate it. Every time somebody hears a strange noise, we're gonna need more cops. Hey, were you really making a report back there in the elevator? Correct. Hmm. He's kind of... he. That's the thing with this guy, is like... The creators of this game know how to write characters really well, where they feel like real people. So one minute, I freaking hate that guy, and then the next, I'm like, he's just a flawed human, you know? He's trying. He's just got issues. You know, we're not all perfect. Even the androids. You know, design flaws and whatnot. Anybody home? Open up, Detroit police! Stay behind me. Got it. That's an odd insignia on the wall. Kind of reminds me of the religious thing in the bathroom at the other house. Minus the scribbles. So bad. Ugh. Jesus, this place stinks. Well, looks like we came for nothing. Our man's gone. Covering something. something I don't know it looks like a notebook but it's indecipherable Probably initials. He put his initials in his jacket? That's something your mom. The driver's license is fake. Cool. At least we didn't come for nothing. Idea what it means? RA9. Written 2,471 times. It's the same sign Ortiz's android wrote on the shower wall. Why are they obsessed with this sign? Looks like mazes or something.
that! Jesus, I hate these things! Its LED is in the sink. Not surprised it was an android. No human could live with all these fucking pigeons. I was the last guy in Detroit to keep some. Electronic books, you can't smell the paper. See the pages turning yellow. You have no idea what I'm talking about, do you? It kind of makes me think, uh, the sigils make me think of circuitry. Like something you might see inside of a computer, like on a motherboard. I can't believe it. This nut job was actually feeding these fuckers. Were they using the pigeons? Pigeons can be... Yeah, yeah, they, maybe they were using the pigeons to send messages. Because that, that way it can't be traced electronically. They love hiding in roofs. All right, time to let you know what's going on. Or not, okay. Can I maybe close that window so they don't jump out and self end? No, okay, here we go. Damn fucking pigeons! What are you waiting for? Chase it!
circle. My fault. I should have been faster. You'd have caught it if it weren't for me. That's all right. We know what it looks like. We'll find it. Hey, Connor. Nothing. I uh, see redeeming qualities in, in Hank. Plus, he plays Mr. Krabs on Spongebob. Like, come on. You might be an a-hole sometimes, but uh, I don't know. I'm kind of coming around to the guy. Nice to see he's doing the same. So, And maybe um, that android is with the renegades, you know? So... I don't want to rat them out. I want, I want uh, Connor to live. I want Hank to live. I've changed my mind. I like Hank. He, I kind of like Hank. I don't like all of him, obviously. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm getting into their buddy, uh, cop duo. You know, it's, it's a, it's a classic. It's a classic trope. So, all right. Thank you for watching. Oh, I'm really loving this. I, I, I hope it doesn't end too soon, because it's getting really good. So, I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you for watching.